Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the Revolution Day. His Majesty the King wished him abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to Egypt. He praised deep-rooted relations between the two brotherly countries and peoples and the perpetual growth at all levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, on the anniversary of Revolution Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wished the Egyptian President abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to the people of Egypt. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of the Bahrain Egypt relations and continues to grow across all levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr Mustafa Madbouli. The Minister of Information, Ali Aramehi, made a statement in which he praised Saudi Arabia's success in organising a safe Hajj season despite the challenges posed by the pandemic. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom's leadership for its serving the worshippers and facilitating the rituals in optimal conditions and added that his service of Islam is a source of pride for all Muslim peoples worldwide. Following a review of the average COVID-19 positivity rates, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 today announced the adoption of the Green Alert level on Friday the 23rd of July 2021. The adoption of the Green Alert level follows the implementation of the Orange Alert level during the Arafah and Eid al-Adha holidays, a precautionary move announced by the task force. This is in line with the previous announcement that some dates will be designated a higher alert level in the interest of public health and safety. The task force emphasised the importance of adhering to all the precautionary measures detailed within the Green Alert level, noting the importance of wearing masks in indoor public areas and maintaining social distancing. The task force added that every person has a shared responsibility in ensuring transmission rates remain low and that national efforts to protect citizens and residents from COVID-19 are supported. The measures under the Green Alert level are as follows. The below sectors will be open to those who are vaccinated and have completed 14 days after the second dose of a vaccine and those who have recovered from COVID-19 by presenting their green shields on the Be Aware app. A vaccinated or recovered person must accompany children under the age of 12. Cinemas, indoor events and conferences, attendance of indoor sporting events. The following sectors and activities will be open to the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. Shopping malls and shops, restaurants and cafes, gyms and sports halls, swimming pools, barbershops, salons and spas, playgrounds and entertainment centres. Entering government centres outdoor events and conferences, attendance of outdoor sporting events. The Green Level also includes the option to attend education and training institutions, all while following necessary precautionary measures, including wearing a mask when indoors at all public places and maintaining social distancing measures at all times. The task force concluded by reiterating the importance of adhering to all precautionary measures to protect public health. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,098,334 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,036,747 had taken the second, and 117,382 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 781 with 98 recoveries, 65 registered new cases and one death. 34 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 24 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.